Well, it's not uncommon when political candidates disagree on issues, but when they agree on other issues, well, that's newsworthy. As Capitol correspondent Tim Skubik discovered while moderating the spirited congressional debate between Alyssa Slotkin and Tom Barrett last week. He's here for you now with more on what the candidates had to say. It's an they open question. Every business has to pay their fair share. Tax they for absolutely have to pay their fair share. So what you the support bill that. that you the two candidates running for the newly created 7th Congressional District in our area disagree on lots of stuff. In fact, to say that is an understatement. However, it turns out Democrat Alyssa Slotkin and Republican Tom Barrett do see eye to eye on several critical issues. In the wake of its controversial decision to overturn the Roe v. Wade abortion precedent, there is a clamor from some Democrats to limit the number of years the justices on the high court can serve. Democrat Ms. Slotkin says, not so fast. I think we need to be judicious about these kinds of things. I'm willing to look at it, but I'm not at this point not pushing it. I would be open to it. I, I don't know what the right answer to how long that should look like is. Uh, I, I tend to favor the current system we have now. Ever since the FBI raided the Florida home of former President Donald Trump, there's been a hue and cry from conservatives that the FBI cannot be trusted. Do these two trust the FBI? Tom Barrett answers in the affirmative. Absolutely. I have the foremost respect for the FBI. I trust the FBI, but I think that no agency is beyond accountability. Do you trust the FBI? I do. It's federal law enforcement. The two also agree that even though the Social Security system could go belly up, they would not raise the retirement age to save the program. They also agree that sometimes when you vote on issues, you have to vote your conscience and not necessarily what the majority of your constituents want. This next issue is noteworthy in that the liberal Democrat and the conservative Republican have surprisingly different views, however, on the death penalty. This may surprise you. I actually uh, don't favor the death penalty. You can't undo it once it's done. I support the death penalty in <laughs> rare cases. It should be repetitive, egregious, violent. Finally, the two also agree on one last thing. Despite it all, the disagreements and the agreements, they both respect each other. Your are in Lansing, Tim Skubik, 6 News.